So maybe it's just my phone that decided to get dark. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and paint. Um, I think I'm gonna spray paint these white. I think I want them white. I think I want them bright and white. So I will spray paint these. And then our stems, let's do our stems in a really light brown. You guys, I got a few, few new colors of paint yesterday. Purple petal, which I thought is really, really cute. Ooh, these would be really cute to do um, double-sided. So you mean like this? So they're like that? That would be super cute. That would be super cute. And then check out this color, Sage Mint. I got that one because it was so cute. Is it fine? Okay. It's probably just my phone. I'm not sure why, but it's fine. As long as it's good for you guys, then that's really all that matters. And then I can see your guys' comments, so that's not a big deal. All right, so I think, and then I got light mocha. I was wanting a um, color that wasn't really tan, and so the white mocha really, really spoke to me. And then, has anybody tried these? They're the Sharpie oil-based pens, um, paint pens. So they're the Sharpie, they're oil-based, and they're paint pens. And so these are also extra fine. I'm trying to find my favorite extra fine. I love the Thule that's the black, but I didn't care for the white. So, okay, Robin doesn't like them. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, here's the thing. Some people like some things, some people don't. It's kind of whatever. But maybe not as many overlays on the backside. I like that. The white mocha is a deco art. Yeah, I really like it. I really like that one. And I could even, let's just go ahead and paint the bases in the white mocha. Let's just do that. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Let's do the bases in white mocha and let's do our stems in this green. I think that's a good idea. And then we're gonna Mod Podge all of these, which might take a little bit, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna white mocha these up. It is, we didn't do Mindset Monday today because my time literally just got away from me. I was like, oh my gosh, it's already, this i didn't get any of the product loaded into the shop at noon like it was supposed to be um so y'all thank you for being patient with me i mean my goal is every monday to have stuff in the shop at noon but it never well hello nona how are you i was not scheduled this was not a scheduled live but i told you guys well a few of you that asked i was like i'll make it up to you i promise so I was like, I'm just gonna go live tonight. Big B's at a dinner with his work. And so I was like, hmm, I'm not doing nothing else. Parker showered, got done with baseball, got done with power lifting. He's chilling, so I figured he figured I was celebrating. No, I used to celebrate my birthday week, or my birthday like the entire month of February. I don't quite do that much anymore. That's expensive. <laughs> no, we, are, we will be celebrating though. Obviously Wednesday's Valentine's Day. Wednesday is our Super Bowl parade here in Kansas City. So that'll be fun. I'm probably not going, but that'll be, well, I'm not going, but that'll be fun. And then Wednesday is also Valentine's Day. I'm good, Nona. That's totally fine, Lee. That is totally, totally fine. Those are not in any limited quantity. I will just cut them to order. Um, anyway, yeah, so Wednesday's Valentine's Day. Thursday's my birthday, which you guys, we have our new workshop that's releasing on Thursday. So make sure that you come in, check the page on Thursday because it will be released on Thursday to where you can come and join us inside that workshop. It's going to be so much fun. Do I keep freezing?
Okay, is that better? Um, Tammy, that particular one is, yes. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to put this one together. It's always, you know, stuff looks so cute sometimes when you cut it, but man, when you're able to just put it together and bring it to life even more, these things, it's amazing how you can transform these pieces. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and do some green on here. Now we are gonna have our green leaves, so they'll stand out on here a little bit more. And we'll do the back as well, but we'll do the front for now and then let it dry. And then we'll do the back. When does the workshop start? I would have to look at my calendar. So it will go on sale Thursday and it comes with a kit. So the price of your, uh, the price that you're gonna pay is going to be uh, the workshop and the kit. And it's going to be the third week of March. But obviously I have to have time to cut the kits and get them to you guys so that you guys have it in time. So even though the tickets are gonna go on sale Friday or Thursday, the actual workshop isn't until like the third week of March. I'm gone the second week. And then we have spring break in there, I think. I have it written on my calendar and you will know all of that um, when, uh, when the cart opens. I'll have all that information. Deb, yes, I was actually gonna post it in there tomorrow. Deb asked if there was an early release for VIPs and absolutely because this is one of the ones that would be Monday, March 18th. I think that sounds right. I think that sounds right. And it'll be a three day workshop and it'll be a workshop where you can catch the replays if you miss it. So you don't have to be there watching it live. Although you guys know um, the benefit to being on live and just the, the connections that you have on lives, especially in a workshop like this, because we're not just going to be creating a cap craft kit. We are going to be we're gonna do this an easy way, by the way. We're not just creating a craft kit. Do I keep cutting in and out? This is why I don't do lives at night. Ugh. I wonder if my phone will let me call Parker. <laughs> hey, FaceTime video. I can. Hey, I can. Gaming. Oh. Hi, I'm live and I keep cutting in and out. Can you pause for like 30 minutes? Well, I'm not doing anything. Oh, you're not on the internet? No. Okay, well you turn your Wi-Fi off then. It's always off. Okay, thank you. Love you. Yep, Bye. <laughs> You're fine, no issues, it's not on your end? Okay, so it's, he's not on, well, I know it's not my end now because he's not on the internet anyway. All right, we have one, two, three, each one of these has four pieces to it. And then each of the flowers, or petals, leaves, whatever you wanna call it, there's two each. All right, I wanna avoid the striped. This might be a fun one. And this might be a good one. So we're going to do every layer of our flowers a different color. Hey, Darcel. Did I pronounce that right? This is what we're going to do the petals with, or the leaves with. You can do these all the same color if you want. It really doesn't matter. I mean, just have fun with it. Let's see, how many colors do we have here? So there's four on each one, but we're gonna mix them up too. So let's do, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do some of this one. Did I get this one in here? Nope, we'll use some of that one. Ooh, this one might be fun. That one wasn't in this pack. It was in the pack, but I have since gone through it and, ooh, that one might be fun too. Hmm. 
Okay, I think I have all that I need or all that I want. However, I like that yellow polka dot too. All right, which one am I doing? I'm doing the flower trio. I think that's what they're called. Let's see what they're called. Um, yeah, the flower trio shelf sitters. That's the one we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna do this the easy way. We're gonna turn these all over. Well, within reason, because I do kind of want to make sure the letters or the colors are, like I don't want a pink on top of a pink. We do have to be a little bit careful. We're just still gonna just do this the easy way. All right, we are going to put the Mod Podge on with a sponge as well. Let's see. This would be really cute on the front or this. I like the yellow. So let's do one in yellow, the middle. Let's just make them all yellow. I mean, that way that's like the center of the flower. So here's the second yellow. And we might use this one that has a lot of yellow in it. Let me see what other ones there is here. Oh my goodness, they're all stuck together. Okay, there's no other yellow, so we'll use this one. All right. Let's do these in sections. So we'll do these first. We're gonna do this one, this one, and this one. All right, we're gonna lay them all down here. Let's get our Mod Podge. Hey, Jennifer. I responded back to your email today if you got that. And so, uh, Jennifer, if you, look, we're just gonna lay that on there now. Um, I created a new order for you. You'll probably see that so that I can just recut all that stuff for you. A December kit that is lost somewhere. Okay. And this one. This is weird. Look at that. We need to cut that to where it's a little bit more straight because that's putting our... It's feeling pretty funky. That's much better. I don't know what that was. I think we maybe need to not get those anymore. All right, so let's put some Mod Podge on this one and then we'll cut these off of here. And then we'll send them, but let's go ahead and get all of them on here first. All right, there's one. Now, you might want to be careful depending on the pattern that you're using on your paper, if you're do going to do it this way. Um, you know, you might, I just randomly stuck these on the back corner of the paper. I didn't really care where the design fell on it, but if you want to be sure about where the design falls in it, then definitely um, just consider that when you're laying it down. All right, let's cut the majority of this off and we'll, like I said, we'll go back and sand them here in a little bit, but we're gonna Mod Podge them all first. And then we'll figure out, okay, we got, this might take a while. Oh, okay, so we were telling, I was telling you guys about this week. Wednesday is Valentine's Day. Thursday's my birthday. Thursday is the shop will also be released to you guys. Thursday is the last day James is home. He's gonna be moving to Arizona. I don't know. He's going to go to Arizona or Florida first. I don't know because he has to go to Florida for training. One, two, three for each one. So we're probably going to use some more of these as well. So if I use this on a background, one of these, I'll just make sure not to use um, the center one. That way we keep all of our papers different. I think that's going to be what kind of keeps this really fun. Um, let's do this one right here. Let's do that. Let's do that. I like that one. I can't believe it's just already the middle of, um, February. It's just crazy to me. Almost. I mean, this week is the middle of February. It goes so fast. Um, I probably won't iron these just because I'm putting them on when it's wet and they're small enough that I probably don't have to. Uh, but if I get any bubbles in them, I can definitely go over it with an iron and it will, um, take it off, but I'm probably not going to iron them. 
All right, let's just put one of these together real quick and see how we want. And then we'll, let's see which one of these looks good on here. Let's use this one. Okay, so now this is gonna be the third one. So let's use this pink. No, the pink is like a bottom lines and this one is like lines as well. So I'm gonna avoid putting those together. So let's do this pink. Let's do this pink. Is it probably your satellite? Who knows? You guys, internet is gonna be start probably, this is my, February does seem to flow by, fly by. And you know that we have so many February birthdays in here. I love it. Anyway, there is, I think our internet, our system across the globe is going to have, hey Kim, issues very soon because there are just so many people it's kind of like, I mean, there's only so much. Because don't you remember, like, when, wasn't it years ago? You guys, I'm only, I'm only 47 in, for a couple more days. Um, but, you know, you there were only, like, so many lines you could use on the phone, I thought, maybe. I don't know. And you had to call the operator. Anyway, things change, and then things continue to get bogged down. And that, I fear that's going to happen pretty soon with us. We get spoiled by having like, um, I wanted another green. Where's my other green? We get spoiled by having fast internet speeds. And then, yeah, it will get back down. It definitely will. All right, we're going to do this one with green. I like it. Oh, I think I was just going to use the green on the leaves, but I think, I think it'll be okay. Make sure it fits. Right? Dial up internet. Jennifer, I do buy them in bulk and I buy them from Amazon. They're actually the Amazon basics and I love them. I absolutely love them. Okay. This one. Come on. Yeah. They're the Amazon basics. I will post a link and I do buy them in bulk. How many come in that box? I probably buy 16 of these. At a time. Yes. Y2K. Yep. That's exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to be there again really soon. All right, let's do, we're going to use this one for the center of this one. So let's do this uh, pink one. This cute. I like it. These are gonna be so cute when they're done. Just very springy. Now here's the other thing. You had to dial zero to get to the operator. That was a party line, right? Isn't that funny? You guys, what would be really cool, you guys could use moss on these, um, paint them. You could put moss on some of the layers. That would be really kind of cool, I think. We might have to try that. All right, so there's that one. So we got pink, and let's do, let's do this one. I feel like I had a bunch out, and now I don't. Where'd they all go? I feel like I had a bunch more colors out, but I did, I did. Time and weather, yep. You can use any kind of baby wipes, yes you can. If, and if you have, do we have that one out? We do have that one out. We don't have this one out. If you have spots that have a little bit more residue than others, um, use a little bit of alcohol, like rubbing alcohol. But the wet wipes, I love them. I have gotten some from like Sam's Club and stuff like that, and I just don't like them. I just don't. I'm very particular when it comes to baby wipes just because I use them in the shop all the time. I'm always using them. And I know you guys, if you guys are crafters, you always use it. Yeah, 411 is the one I remember. Was there a different one? There was a different one. There was a different one. Yes. I know exactly what you're talking about because I thought you were talking about the 411, but 
You're right. I remember calling time and temperature. Oh my goodness. Isn't it amazing how far, like how fast the world has expanded just in the past hundred years? Amazing to me. Let's do an orange. Let's do this polka dot orange on this one. So amazing to me. Are the wipes okay for people with sensitive skin? Um, they do say, because they're baby wipes. I thought it said sensitive skin on it. I will have to check. I know I don't have any issues and I use them a lot. Um, but I know that there's definitely other people that have pretty sensitive skin and that does make a difference. So I will definitely check. Um, I can pull it up on Amazon and look. Time at 844-6611. Yes. You remember payphone? Yep. The time to set your clocks. You worked in police communications before there was 911. Interesting. No microwaves, no record players. Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh, this one's gonna be cute. Look at all those layers that we got there. All right, we're on the last one. Oh, and then we still have to do our, we're just gonna chat tonight, you guys. We're just gonna hang out and chat. All right, so this is this one. This one has a lot of, um, what color do we want behind it? We want green. Let's do green on the next one. I think that'll work. No remotes for the TVs, yep. We had a box. I think it was a, our cable box where we had to go up and like hit the things and then you could move it down on the side to go to the next 20 and then the next 20. Yeah. I think that uh, we were talking to Parker about that recently and he was like, what? You didn't have hair dryers? Oh my goodness. Y'all, I would have looked like a hot mess. I have to dry my hair. You were your dad's remote, right? Hey, friend, Sandy, like, let me see. Yep, Sandy. We are doing our trio flowers tonight. Yeah, the remotes were the kids, that's for sure. That's so funny. I mean, I'm not going to lie, my kid is mine sometimes. <laughs> not the remote, but it's just something else in today's society. We had to call hotels for time and charges, also for party lines. That's so awesome. All right, let's do this one on the center one here. I'm gonna have to get out a little bit more Mod Podge because we still have our leaves to do. Let's put that one there. And the leaves will probably do, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. We may do a couple of the different greens on the leaves. All right, let's do an orange. No, let's do a yellow. You like that yellow or this yellow? We'll do the polka dot. I like the polka dot. Ooh, wait, we don't have any blue in this one, so we need something with blue. Because we had yellow. I mean, there's yellow here. We'll do the yellow on this one. So we'll do this one, this, this one, this, this one, this. Yeah. at and was Illinois Bell. No seats in the, right? I remember, I remember, I have a very vivid memory. Wait, didn't we have? Oh no, we do just have one more of these. I miscounted you guys. Um, we're still gonna use this one. I have a very vivid memory of um, leaving Venture parking lot. I don't even know if you guys know what Venture is. It was kind of, it's not here at all anymore. I'm sure some of you guys know what Venture is. You had to move to other channels. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. But I vividly remember standing up in the car <laughs> And uh, I remember my mom swatting my leg, telling me to sit down. <laughs> but I was like four. And yeah, no seatbelts. Isn't that crazy? So crazy. I feel like I'm buffering. <laughs> there are so many 
pieces here. I feel like I'm kind of buffering. I'm like, um, what is that that you, um, decision, uh, like you freeze when you're like overwhelmed with too much stuff and you're like, oh, I don't even know. That's what I feel like I'm buffering right now. You remember Venture? Southern Bell, I remember that. Um, yeah, we were leaving Venture, Venture's parking lot, and I was standing up, and I remember in the front seat, in between her and my brother, because, like, right now, most cars are bucket seats, unless you get, okay, that's inaccurate for me to say. I don't know what most cars are, because I'm not a car connoisseur, um, but ours have been bucket seats, but like trucks, you know how I have the one seat? My mom had a station wagon. I think that was the one that we were in. Not funny. Rear window dashboards? Oh my gosh. Don't remember that. I don't even think I know what that is. It sounds cool. It sounds like a spot you can decorate. <laughs> Bench seats, yes. That's what they're called. Ooh, these are gonna be some cute flowers, you guys. All right, on these, okay, I don't care how the leaves look on this pattern. I do care how they look on this pattern. And I, I don't want this line to be this way. So I'm gonna be very cautious. So we have to put it this way and lay them that way. So let's do, um, two with this and one with this. Let's do that. Yeah, your parents' arm was a seatbelt. Ah! Yes, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> That's so funny. That is so funny. That's very true. That's even instinct because, like, even now, if when my kids were younger, like in the front seat or whatever, and you slam, you have to like somebody stops crazy in front of you, and you still, it's still like instinct to do that, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna do four of this one. So I don't care how it lays on there, I just wanna make sure my lines go the same way. All right, we're gonna set those there and then we'll do two here. You're when your sister used to fight over who got to lay it there, that's so funny. That's funny. Hey. How was golf? Good. Was it cold? Not really. Better than yesterday? Yeah, on Good. Good, good. I just have a surprise waiting for me at work tomorrow. You have a surprise waiting for you for work tomorrow? Like from who? Just a bunch of people. Oh. And how do, why why do you know that? Like why do you, who told you that? <laughs> They're gonna have a going away party for you. They don't want you to leave. Nobody wants you to leave. Oh. Oh no, he's leaving though. Okay, I am trying to get my sandpaper. Sorry. Let's see. I want a little bit of a decent grit on it just because I don't want to sand these forever. So we're gonna use, what am I gonna use? Of course, I don't know what it is. That one's cut off, but I know it's out of this one. It is, if you wanna know, an 80. This is a little bit thicker sandpaper, just FYI. Than, or I'm sorry, not sandpaper. Scrapbook paper, it's a little bit thicker, so. You had eight kids in a sedan, so you had to sit one forward, one, one in the middle between mom and dad. And that's so funny. Your dad hated station lights. It is going to be okay. I've known for two weeks now, and so I'm definitely, I mean, tell me two weeks ago it was going to be okay, and I'd be like, no, it's a bad decision. But I'm all right. We'll see, though, when Thursday comes, right? He's leaving Friday. We'll see. I'm like, that's a great birthday present, James.
just so you know, that's rude to move halfway across the country, literally. Crazy, crazy. Good for him for being brave though, right? I mean, could any of us really do that? I don't know. Maybe you could, I couldn't. I live, you know, 20 minutes from the town that I grew up in. We just moved further west um, into a smaller town. You could ride outside all the way there, couldn't you? In a truck, for sure you could. Yeah. You see kids doing that nowadays and you're like, oh my gosh. And I think I'd seen one time, like just in the neighborhood, someone was, the boys were just, and I was like, oh, Parker, we used to do that all the time. He's like, what? You're not supposed to do that. Well, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Mm, Michelle. My daughter lives, I mean, she was able to come by yesterday. She's local, so that's nice. Um, I mean, we still have lives, and so I don't see her as often as, as I would want, but I can literally see her once a week if I want to. I'm going to go on the top just a little bit so I can see some of the wood through it. Oops. And I'll just do this from the get-go on the rest of them, and then I'm not having to re-sand them. Okay. This is going to be so cute. Hold on, this one didn't get enough. So these are just going to glue together. This is going to be so cute. You do a Super Bowl of treaching at your church. Oh, man. I would love to know that, Cheryl. Went from Pennsylvania to Las Vegas. I do, and I'm like, you, this one's 80 grit. Yeah, and you know, I, I believe that he's gonna be fine. Like, he's a great, he makes good decisions. Um, for the most part, he's still a kid. But he's very ambitious, uh, very determined, um, very driven, goal-oriented, so. I think it's gonna it'll be fine. But thank goodness for FaceTimes and stuff like that, right? Thank goodness. Yes, it was 80, sorry. These are getting sand all over now. It's definitely hard when your babies move away, but you know, that's what our, we literally knew that we only had them for a short time. I mean, we know that. I could have probably used a 60 grit sandpaper, but if I went on the top at all, I really don't want it to scratch the paper. But I could, probably could have used a 60. Because, y'all, I got lots more of these. <laughs> I got lots more of them. That's so stinking cute, though. Look how cute that flower is going to be. Look how cute that's going to be. He is, again, amen for, oh, here's a 40 grit. Amen, ooh, that might be too much. Amen for FaceTime though, right? Video calling. I mean, my mom didn't have that. If I wanted to move across the country, they didn't have video calling then. So that's, this one's definitely working better. So the lower the number on your scrap sandpaper, if you don't know, that's gonna be the coarser it is. Um, meaning it's gonna take off more at once. And the edge won't be as smooth. But we're not really doing pieces like that where the edges, where we're super, super worried about that. Um, but 
like if you want to make something smooth, like the top of a sign or something after you paint it, you can use the higher grit sandpaper. So like 200. This little sander, oh my goodness, isn't it amazing? I don't get credit for that though. I think um, my friend Danielle from Bell of the Barns, when I saw her using one, I'm like, Danielle, what is that? I need that. Yeah, so that's thanks to her. I think a lot of people use them now, and this is going to kill my hand, isn't it? Let me make sure. We have... Anyway, yeah, we raise them to fly away. And he doesn't think it's going to be long term, so who knows. Although I've heard of Arizona is pretty amazing, and there's a few ladies in here that live in Arizona. It'll give me a place to uh, go visit some of y'all. Go see, That would be fun. And I've heard Arizona is beautiful, so... We're going to look at all what is good about it, right? Thank you, Robin. Yes, this is the one we're working on tonight. So we released, how many kits did I say? Seven? Y'all, I would love to release a lot more for you every time, but... I mean, time. I mean, honestly. Our little chair, though is so stinking cute let me show you the chair all right there's our second one. Oh my goodness these are gonna be so precious isn't that gilbert arizona red rocks i've heard is awesome yep he will be by phoenix let's do these real quick because hey michelle Man, there's a lot of salmon tonight. So that's one of the things that's cool about kits like this. We could have definitely done it quicker if we painted it. Or you may have a way to put it together um, that's quick. And so, but if you like using there's just so many ways that you can bring these kits together i just love them like each time someone makes it when you guys share your pictures i just love that because i just love seeing all of the different variations about how we can take one thing and make it such uniquely ours and perfect and i just think it's awesome I think it's pretty stinking awesome. And it makes your home yours. Like you don't have a home like everybody else. It's uniquely yours. Although, you know, we all have a Hobby Lobby piece or two in our. <laughs> Caleb has Christian music concerts out there. 10, oh my goodness, that's awesome. <gasps> At Red Rock? Yeah. I've heard of that. That would be so awesome. Oh, for we're going to do that tomorrow, Cheryl. So my weekend was busy. We had power lifting an hour away. And then, um, you know, I just, tr I don't do it on the weekends, but we did have a busy weekend. And then the Super Bowl. Um, yes, we will tomorrow. We will be doing... And... Tomorrow's when I'll release the, v, or the next workshop to you guys as well inside the VIP group. Because there's only, it's coming up, but it's too far from, I know. That is a long way. Um, there's only going to be 75 spots available in the Bloom and Thrive workshop, okay? 
The Super Bowl was cool. It was cool. Um, not gonna lie, I didn't even think we were making it, to, would make it to the Super Bowl this year. I mean, just being honest. But how awesome for them, right? I mean, you know, it's the childhood dream to do things like that. I wonder if I can do this left-handed. I guess we're gonna see. I don't wanna mess up on my last one. It's in August. Oh yes, that's the one my friend just invited me to. Yes, because tickets just went on sale. She just invited me to it, yes. And um, I just don't think I can do it. Yeah. Which is a bummer because I did, that would have been really cool to go with her. Can't do all the things we want to do though, can we? They were good, and I love Brock Purdy. He's just a really nice guy. I love Brock Purdy. He's so young, too. It was a good team. It was a good game. Yes, very, very cool. Coming from a Bengals fan. So it wasn't super, um, what's the right word? It wasn't super anxiety. Like, it wasn't too bad that way even it was just a good game to watch oh i have one more boy my hand i know i saw that he just got engaged that's so awesome good for him Whew. so you might if you do this um you're a cowboys fan my first husband was i have always a cowboys fan for well i mean I'm not really a fan of anything, really. I don't really have a favorite football team. I'm just from Kansas City. So I just support that. Now, there are other people in my house. <laughs> they do follow the Chiefs because they love them. I know, right? I wonder if they, I'm sure they might this year. That's, who knows what's going to happen with Travis and Taylor. It's a fun thing to watch, though. It's really fun to watch. I know that there are lots of people that have their opinions. And honestly, that is absolutely what they are, is opinions. Even mine, you know. Yours is an opinion, mine's an opinion. And there's a lot of people that have opinions about... Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, but I just love, they look happy. So that is all that matters to me. Maybe Valentine's Day, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's clean up our mess and put this together. Cause this made a big old mess. Bringing football and music together, I know I love it. There was a commercial, or maybe I saw it online. Just so, how many more little girls um, would sit and watch football with their dad. Just really cool. Super, super cool, I think. All right, let's put these together. So let's go ahead and glue our, um, our flowers together and then we'll glue them to the stick last. But let's go ahead and glue these together. So just make sure on these that you get your holes lined up because that is where your piece is gonna go through. Can you see that? <laughs> is it lined up? I don't know. <laughs> hey, Rita. Let's put on this one. How are you? That's kind of my opinion, Dixie. That's definitely, that's definitely my opinion and how that is all that matters. Okay. And so you can glue the sticks into these if you want. 
it's gonna be pretty secure. And if you don't glue it in, then you can take them apart and store them. So that's one of the benefits of not sticking them inside. All right, or not gluing them in the base. We'll see, I probably will glue. Let's put a dab of glue here. Let's put this one on in the middle. Oh my goodness, this is gonna look so cute. This is gonna be so cute. Now these are all misshapen, okay? They're all supposed to be that way. There is no rhyme or reason. And so when you're getting this and you're like, okay, where does this one go? They are a mix and matchy whatever. There is no right way to put them together. Oh my goodness, this is gonna, I think gonna be one to each his home, each his own. Yep, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> it's the farmer Christus cow. That's so funny. Ooh, these would be cute in a small basket. So you guys, we could even, like if you didn't want to use these and the bases, like you could just put these on other pieces. Like if you have a sign that you want to attach this to, you can put the, um, like this one, I would probably do different since it's the same color, but like you can attach the leaves on them. You can do so much stuff with this. You don't have to use them with the bases, but they're super cute. They would be really cute in a small basket. I might have to create one, but I'm gonna tell you right now, they are gonna look super cute on the uh, chair. They're gonna look so cute on here because I'm gonna paint this white I'm gonna spray paint it because there's no way I'm gonna do that. But these would be so cute if you had several, like two of them, two of the shorter ones up here and the tall one down here and had, you know, the birds around it or in a birdhouse or whatever. That would be so cute. I can't wait to do that one. You know what? I'm probably gonna do it tomorrow. Probably gonna do it tomorrow. That way you guys can see what it looks like. It's gonna be super cute. I think so anyway. I wanted a different tray. I know that everybody, lots of people have the wagons and I, or the trucks and I don't have those. I'm not against um, having them in the shop. I mean, you guys haven't asked them too much. You're ready for your bunny box? They're going out this week. Our little spring planter, yes, they're going out this week. My mom came up today and um, saran wrapped all the pieces together. So, yep, they're gonna go out this week. That's the other thing. So that, that is the other thing that's happening Thursday is they're gonna all go out by Thursday. So that means, what day is the 20th? Let's see. The 20th is the following Tuesday. So yeah, that's when our live will be, will be the following Tuesday. Y'all, these are so cute. You guys need to grab some of these. These are super cute. All right. Now, let's go ahead and figure out, I probably should have sanded that a little bit more, but now I don't wanna mess up the green underneath it. All right. Um, so now we need to decide where we want to glue this in relation to, you can glue it here to where it's longer. You can glue it up here, okay? So I kind of, let's just go with the middle. So that one's going to be that tall if I go with the middle. Let's see this one. If that one is in the middle, it's going to be that tall. I think those are good sizes. So we're going to just shoot for the middle. Okay. So we're going to do this glued side. Hold on. Let me see how far down I need to go in the glue. So no further than that. These are gonna look super cute. All right, there's one. We're gonna let that dry real quick there. And this one, let's see. You do whatever works for you on these, my friends, however, you want them to look is what I want you to do. There is no rhyme or reason. I know sometimes that um, some people struggle with not knowing 
feeling like you have to use it the way that it's purchased as a kit and you don't. Um, aren't they super cute, Rita? Um, you don't have to use it based on how the kit comes. Just like all the shelf sitters that I showed you, you can split up and use those as multiple different things. Okay, so we're gonna go not below this point. And then we're gonna glue our, um, how do I want that to go on there? We're just gonna call that good, right there. We're gonna glue our things on. All right, that one's good. That one's good. This one's almost good. Okay, so that's the middle one. That's the big one, that's that one. I actually think I did that wrong, but that's okay. There is no right or wrong. <laughs> yes, they are, Debbie. We were just talking about that. They will go out the 16th, or the 15th, yes, on Thursday. Let me cut this, because there's some, there we go. I didn't sand it well enough on that one. This must have been one of the first ones I did, where, remember I switched um, the grit tissue paper, sandpaper. All right. So remember we did two polka dots, or we did one polka dot and then two of the um, line. I don't want to use the polka dots on this one because the polka dots are already on there. Yep, and we'll create on the 20th. How much is the letter with the bunny ears? I think 20, hold on. How much is it? I don't remember. Uh, 24, and that comes with whatever. Will all orders go out on Thursday? No, someone out today, there'll be some, oh, you mean all the subscription books? Yes, regular orders though, those will go. I ship those every day. Okay, buffering again. So let's do these here. I kind of like it there, close to the top. I'm gonna put some, a little bit on the end of this one. Hold it there for just a second and then we'll just do another one right there. Oh my goodness, that's super cute. Let's do these different. Mm. I should put it on top of it actually. I'm glad that hadn't stuck. There we go. I think it goes better on top of it. So we're kind of double layering it. It looks much better that way. Mm, I'm excited for the workshop. I really am too, Dixie. I am too. And I, I have kind of what we're gonna talk about in there. And obviously, I mean, there's a lot of work that I put into that and just trying to figure out how what I want my talks to be about, what I want, um, the good Lord leads all that. And so it's definitely me leaning into a place that's a little bit more vulnerable, um, but it is um, very much led by him. And I love knowing what I'm gonna learn as well, because when I do these workshops, you guys, it's not just me saying, hey, learn this, da, 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 and, like I have it figured out, I don't. And so I love just learning right along with you. And I love seeing the journey that everybody takes because it's all so different, it's all so cool. So that will go on sale Thursday. I'm super excited for it, I cannot wait. And there's only 75. Um, what is the thing you're doing about flowers in your new weekly thing or one time? It's a one time workshop. That's what we were just talking about. It's gonna be released on Friday, or I'm sorry, Thursday. Where is it? There it is. I gotta take pictures of it. So, with the workshop, if you're in the VIP group, you will get access tomorrow, okay? You, um, there are only 75 spots of these because I can only cut so many kits. And we're gonna finish putting this back together, but I wanna show you this real quick. Um, 
And you're gonna get more than this. I just didn't paint them all, but you'll get enough. So you'll have our background that we're going to work on the first night and talk about kind of how to apply that to your life, what it means, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I'm definitely gonna give you some more detail as far as what that means as well. Um, and then the second day we'll work on our watering can and I'll show you maybe a different way to do the watering can. We may do something different as far as bringing it to life. Um, but we'll talk about what the watering can means, what its job is, and how we can, what can we learn from the watering can, just like this. What can we learn from the background of our life? What can we learn with the wholeness that we give to the world? You know, us as the whole in the background. And thank you, Debbie. Dixie said, for participants, you get out what you put in. That is absolutely true. And that is true of any workshop, no matter what, if it's, even if it's not mine. Your success in a workshop is greatly dependent upon you. So the instructor, me, whoever, um, can, can give you all the material and give you all kinds of stuff. But it, it's definitely, if, if you consume it and implement it into your life, it does make a huge difference. And I love it. I'm so glad that you feel that, Dixie. Um, we did our one word workshop and it was absolutely amazing. I loved it. And so it's going to be very, very much like that, like the Nativity Narratives and the one word workshop. It's going to be very similar to that in how it was run and what kind of teachings I'm going to have. So this has all these interchangeables. Like these were just silk flowers that I had stuck in here. But the third night, we're going to paint flowers and we're gonna bring these to life let's figure out how we want to put them in here there are so many of them like i said i didn't even um paint all i didn't paint all of them not mine anyway but you guys will get several and you guys can probably get access to some extras as well because how fun would it be to paint these in different colors every season let's see so they're going to kind of lay on top of each other every now and then and so that's going to be kind of what holds them together too mm, we're going to squeeze this one in nope it ain't it's not going to go there i'm going to have to maneuver it a little bit because i want this one to go here but you get the idea so you get all these we will talk about you know the flowers and what we can learn from the flowers there you go see it's not going anywhere hopefully not don't fall out <laughs> isn't it cute though so cute this is what this is the one that will be um these are the wildflowers in a smaller version if you order the wildflower bundle it will be these but they're larger okay this is a smaller version of this on wildflower bundles all right let's put these together so that's going to be released on Thursday. I'm super, su yes, the flowers go with two of your craft, past craft boxes too. Yes. Our vase. Yes. Y'all see there's a theme. I'm the only place you need to come to get all the cool stuff now. Hmm. It's really fun. It's, it's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm super, oops, I'm super excited for it. I can't wait to bring it to you guys. And I hope that's you get to join me but it will be in march but tickets are going on sale this this week so i can cut all the cute stuff for you um let's cut this one sorry not cut There we go. Aren't these the stinking adorable? Mason jar and the base. I couldn't think of it. Yes, the mason jar and the base. Those wildflower bundles will work in the mason jar and base too. That's what those were put in the workshop for. Just FYI is for those. And I meant to make a post inside the subscription box group and I just haven't, I forgot. But they were specifically made for that. Check these out, you guys. Oops, that one wants to be stuck to my table a little bit. Aren't these stinking adorable? Look, these would be fun for kids too, you guys. 
These would be so fun for kids too. And you know what else you can do? You can do some of the scribble method around it. If you wanted to bring more character and more life to them, you could do, you can outline with paint pens. But oh my goodness, these are adorable. So picture, I don't, my glue is still drying some of these, so I don't wanna set it on here yet. Or maybe we can and I'll just wipe it off. But look how cute this would be. You could even set a candle up here. Um, you can put some greenery in it. You can put a plant up here. How cute would that be with a plant? Let's wipe this, make sure it's not gonna stick. How cute. Y'all need one of these chairs, I'm telling you. Reindeer with moss, that's what I was trying to think of earlier. Yes, reindeer moss. How cute. I could do them like that. That's better. Put some, the robins or some, um, where are they? Even, you guys, look, how would uh, Flopsy's flowers look up here with it? Oh my goodness, how cute would that be with it? If this was decorated, oh my goodness, this is cute. And remember, she's reversible. Oh my goodness, you do want to share. Aren't they amazing? So cute, so cute. I was looking for my chunky shelf sitters. I don't know where I put them. Anyway, there you go. Isn't it cute? Yeah, the spring critters, those would be perfect. Yeah, we definitely need to um, paint our chair and style it a little bit with some candles or with some greenery, some beaded ribbon. That would be so cute. Um, so maybe we'll do that tomorrow. You wanna do that with me tomorrow? I'll paint it and then we can just style it. I think it's a date. Let's do that. Um, yeah, let me figure out what time I can do that tomorrow. It's a date. All right, thanks for hanging out with me tonight, you guys. These were so fun to make, so cute. Absolutely adorable. I love them. All right, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Um, I hope that it inspired you a little bit to um, DIY a little bit of your heart or your home. So I love you guys. I will see you soon. Bye.